welcome back to the channel guys and today I'm going to be showing you how to get an FPS counter in the corner of your game that you want to play. So all the link, the one link that you will need in the description will be to ins download MSI Afterburner which is the software that you use for this. So yeah let's get started. So I'm going to search up MSI Afterburner. Afterburner. Once you, so the link in the description, if you use it, will take you to this website. So once it loads, just give it a second. It's a bit slow because I'm recording. You're going to want to go down to Download Afterburner, and then left-click that. And then, once it loads, it should come up with a download. And it should be a zip. So see this just wait for it to finish doing it and then you want to open it up so now you're done with the browser now you can come back over to your this and you want to double click this to open it up and so after burner setup you want to hit yes this is probably blacked out for you guys but just hit yes select English I don't know if you're watching this, I think you're using English, so select English. Okay. Hit next. Accept the license agreement. Hit next. Now, this is important. You need to select MSI Afterburner and Rivatuner. If you don't have this selected, then it does not work. So make sure that you have Rivatuner and MSI Afterburner. And then hit next. Next. And then install. And then just wait for it to install. So once you're pretty much to the end you should get a new screen that's for the statistics thing that is important because that is what msi afterburner uses to put the fps counter and all that stuff into the actual game so right at about this point it should open up a new window wait a minute Just let it do all its stuff. And then, there you go. So you should get this new thing. It should say install our language, hit English. And then hit yes. Next. Accept license terms, next. Next. Install. And now let Rivatuner install, because MSI Afterburner is done. So now once this is finished, you should be able to just easily install Rivatuner and afterburn. Okay, load, it's almost done. One more second. I'm sorry this is pretty slow, just recording really does make this my computer a lot slower than it normally is. Alright, there we go. Now you hit finish. Finish on that. It should pop up with this um, readme thing in your web browser. It doesn't matter. You can, just, you can just hit next. So now, you should get this little interface, which is MSI Afterburner. So the first thing you're going to do when you get into this is hit on settings. And then go to monitoring. And now, you want to come in here and select um, whatever you want to be shown in the game. So, right now, because I already had the, some of this stuff selected, I had GPU usage, um, CPU usage, um, frame rate, CPU power, frame rate max, frame rate 1% low. So, I have all those selected. But, for the ones that you want to show on screen, you're going to want to hit it. So, I'm going to hit frame rate. And then, you want to select show on screen display. So, when you know it's working, it'll say sh in OSD. So, once you're done with that, you want to hit apply and then hit OK. So now you're basically done with that. So the next thing you want to do is come up to show hidden icons and there should be this little river tuner statistics thing here. It's just this little display. Hit that and then open it up. Now this one should already be turned on but this one probably isn't. You want both of these to be turned on and then go into your game. And now you'll have this little thing in the corner that shows all your stuff. So here just to show that this works if I hit this 
it goes off lunar, and then if I hit it again, it turns back on. So you can do this with any game, and it should load up perfectly fine. You can mess with all the stuff on this, so... So now it's huge, and I would not recommend using that, but you know. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this back down. I, it's fine, I'll mess with it later. But yeah, so that is how you use MSI Afterburner to get a thing in the corner. So just to show that if this works, it's going to be not really work, but I'm just going to upload a high pixel. And it's got the FPS counter in the corner. I'm going to do whatever I need. It's got 60 FPS. And yeah. So that's how you get an FPS counter in the corner using MSI Afterburner. Leave a like if you thought this video was helpful. Like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.